I'm Paige, and that's Alexis, like we said earlier in the video. Okay, um, basically what we're going to explain is what fair use and parity are. Their definitions. New vocabulary. Oh yeah. Okay, so copyrights are things that the companies that make media and pictures and things like that to say that they have the rights to that media or to that material. Um, like Harry Potter or Twilight. Yeah. Or Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. A Star Wars. Movie. Pretty much anything that's famous has copyrights. Most uh, of the time. Any and any um, show. Yeah. Um, so when you see like you know the little C in the circle, that's copyrights. Um, oh yes, Jersey Shore is copyrighted. Okay. So when you want to use their stuff in your video, and you don't have to to save the pain of citing it in MLA or whatever format at the end of your video, you can just say it real quick or in, you in person say, the it, copyrights go to Warner Brothers. Brothers or, or, yeah. And say it was used for educational purposes only. And you would have to put your school to say what you used it for, which is education. Um, and that's it. Yeah, like for example, if, we're, if we use um, Harry Potter in our video for Simpsons class, for, we would say this video was used for educational purposes only uh, in Mr. Simpson's second period digital media literacy class. No copyright infringement, basically. Parody, I pretty much everyone should know what parody is, but... You're making fun of something. Like Kesha TikTok. <laughs> That's what parody is. Um, yeah, bye. Bye, okay, so how's it going? This is the extended version of our fair use movie. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so as we explained, fair use is pretty much giving rights, or giving kudos to people who have the, cop the copyrights to any material. But we're going to go a little bit more in detail with a, a website that we found. Um, it kind of explains the, uh, cop the copyright and fair use doctrine. Um, it pretty much just says that, it pretty much gives us these guidelines that um, we go by to defend our um, our use and prove that it's not, um, it's not copyright infringement. So the first one is you have to explain what the character of the use is, like making sure you're not putting it in anything inappropriate and intending to make it come off as inappropriate to the public. Um, the second one is kind of goes hand in hand, but this is more of what are you putting it into? Um, what are you going to be using? What is the nature of what you're going to use? The next one is how much will you use? Like how much of a Lion King, of the Lion King movie are you going to use? If you're going to use the whole thing or all of someone's things, then you're stupid. You shouldn't be doing that. The last one is what effect would this have on the market? Pretty much it's asking would anyone really care if you put that, if that were to go national or global? Like, if you put um, Avatar in a forest, is anyone really going to get offended with that? Compared to if you put, like, the princess from The Princess and the Frog right next to a bunch of KKK people. Like, that is going to be bad. Way to word that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um... Yeah, like, honestly, no one would really care if you just put an avatar in a horse. Some people may not even notice that person. And other people may get offended with the Princess and the Frog explanation that we just had. Well, I had to get the point across. I mean, you guys get it, right? Like, yeah. That's just bad. So, we hope that cleared up a little bit on the fair use and uh, copyrights. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.